everybody, Edo here, and this is Relics of Raha Vihara. It is live on Kickstarter right now, and let me get this out of the way. This game is fantastic. I am so excited about this game. It is absolutely in top 10 Kickstarters of the year for me, and I think it's so cool that I reached out to a bunch of publishers, and I was like, you, you got to check this game out. What is it? It's a solo game that's basically the... Uh, the, the crate puzzle from every video game you've ever played. Uh, it's a sequence of dungeons uh, with escalating difficulty where you're pushing crates with your little dude and solving logic puzzles uh, on the board with crates and diamonds and bad guys. Uh, each floor comes with a deck of cards. The first card gives you a reference to the ability. The first one's just the crates. And then each next one gives you a setup and an objective. Uh, and the objective is usually to get the gem, but maybe it's to drop a crate on the dude or whatever. And there are a number of basic mover, movement rules, and you basically start pushing crates around, and they get stuck, and you restart. Um, every floor, uh, the Kickstarter was a little bit wasn't showing these things, so I won't either. But each floor is a bag of more, you know, objects. These objects work differently in the level, and then it has more floors and a new reference card. It's not really legacy; it's just more stuff, but in a nice revealing difficulty, exploring uh, discovery way, uh, and then you work your way through it, more and more stuff, harder and harder challenges, uh, and there's a, there was a link somewhere in the rules, I think, that like where you can find the uh, solutions if you need to, uh, but you keep working through them, um, and then eventually there's this final floor, which creates sort of a procedural, an interesting procedural puzzle you can keep on playing once you've completed everything. Um, it's like, exactly what you would expect. Just done really well. The puzzles are interesting. The progression's nicely done. Like, I don't know if this was just taken from some online... Like, I don't know how original every one of these levels are, if, like, or they were just pulled from places. Like, because there's a, a familiarity to it. Uh, if you've ever played Zelda, like, it's 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 ex it's dead on. Um, so uh, I, 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 I fully, completely, if you want a solo logic puzzle game with a nice theme that brings back gaming nostalgia from the 80s and 90s, this is it. Um, you know, the title's a little long, the artwork's okay, uh, you could have just called this Tomb Raider, you should look for that IP, but, um, but yeah, it works. Like, it's, it, it, it's both, it's, it's, it is what it is, and that's great. It's just, hey, set up the board, do your puzzle, push over things, follow rules, again, other tiles, like slippery things, burny things, uh, you know, again, all sorts of things. Um, and uh, I, I just dig it. It's just really nicely done, and I like the little components and pieces. This is all handmade, but I'm, you know, it, it, with a good Kickstarter, there's no reason to think these couldn't be great. Um, so yeah, I look at it, check it out. If 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 this is the type of puzzle you like, I think this is just a fantastic execution. So, relics of Raja Vihara. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.